Hi everyone, it's Tatiana from Tatiana's Everyday Food and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm sharing a very delicious breakfast recipe and this is one that I've only recently discovered. I'm gonna make a zucchini sausage and feta cheese shakshuka. So this dish originates from the Middle East and Morocco and my version is by no means authentic, but I'm gonna be including lots of those spices, the cumin and the chili powder, and then I'm gonna add my own ingredients like the zucchini and the sausage. So feel free to add all your favorite veggies or your favorite sausage in here to make it your own. Let's get started and I'll show you how to make it. For this recipe, I'm gonna use three links of this organic spicy Italian pork sausage and I've just sliced it into small pieces. I've heated a medium frying pan over medium heat. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil and then to my hot pan, I'm gonna add in my sausage. I'm just gonna fry it up for a few minutes until it's nicely brown. I'm gonna remove my brown sausage back into my bowl. And I'm going to retain all that oil in the pan. Into the same pan, I'm going to add in one small diced onion. I also minced three garlic cloves. I'm going to add that in. And I have half of a green bell pepper. Just toss all that together and I'm going to cook this for about five to seven minutes until that onion is translucent and that green pepper is nice and soft. This dish is all about flavor, so next I'm gonna be adding in all my spices. So I have half a teaspoon of each, salt, dried tarragon, chili powder, ground cumin, smoked paprika, and a little bit of ground black pepper. I'm gonna toss that all in into my onion and bell pepper mixture. And I'm also gonna be adding half a teaspoon of white granulated sugar. I'm just gonna to toss all that together and let this cook for a few minutes. I've chopped up one small zucchini and I'm gonna add that into my pan as well. I'm gonna return my sausage back into the pan. And now I'm ready to add in my tomatoes. So I have one 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes and one cup of tomato sauce. I'm gonna take my spatula and combine all this goodness together. And then I'm just gonna let it simmer out for about 15 to 20 minutes so all those delicious flavors can combine together to create the ultimate sauce. My sauce is all simmered down and now I'm just gonna uh, top it off with some crumbled feta cheese. And once it starts to melt, it's gonna taste fantastic in this dish. I'm gonna grab my spatula and create small wells. Now today I'm gonna add three eggs, but you can add more or less to your liking and then just drop an egg right into that well. I'm gonna keep my dish at a medium low heat and I'm gonna cook it and just until the egg whites are completely set. Now if you want your eggs to be cooked all the way through, go ahead and cover uh, the pan with a lid and that will cook the egg yolks as well. My shakshuka is all done now and now I'm just gonna garnish the top with some microgreens. I've also sliced up some avocado. Got to place that right on top. And this is ready to be enjoyed. And that's it guys for my shakshuka recipe. Now I like to serve this with a side of avocado because the avocado is just so creamy and it really complements all the different flavors here. Mmm. This dish not only looks fantastic, it tastes amazing. I love the creamy avocado with the spicy tomato sauce, the spicy sausage, and I love the addition of the zucchini here. It's such a great compliment combined with that spicy and aromatic tomato sauce. This is one of the best breakfast dishes ever. I wanna give a shout out to my sister-in-law who first introduced me to this amazing dish. Thank you for giving me the inspiration for this video recipe. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and if you do recreate the recipe at home, snap a photo of it, and don't forget to tag me in your photo on Instagram. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.